everybody it's lizzie so today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine um this video is just meant for fun purposes so yeah let's just go ahead and get started so we're gonna, just gonna get started with the makeup and the first thing i like to do i usually like to do my makeup like right there like sorry there's a present there like at that desk but the problem is like the lighting's a little bit bad i guess i notice when i do my makeup so i Recently started doing my makeup right in front of like literally like let me show you the setup. So this is literally The setup right here. So like my mirror is right here on this like Chair and then like there's the window so I have better natural lighting So yeah, so what the first thing I really like to do is moisturize after it because I just got out of the shower after I blow dry my hair So that's why I have this weird roll in right now. <laughs> I look like one of those Korean girls from um, this k dolls I've been watching so, so I like to apply this. So I'm using the Tatcha water cream. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Lizzie, what did you spend sixty dollars? I was like, over course, I was like, I need a good moisturizer. That's I'm oily skin, but my skin feels very dry after I get out. So like, this is just the perfect one. I might, I found better ones already because I've been testing other ones lately. So I'm just gonna use this while my money well spent, and then I'll just get a cheaper version. I've been like, I also remember using the. Kors RX Snail Serum um, are the moisturizer and it feels fine for me. It's just like lately I've been bad breakouts not breakouts but like my skin's been bad around this area lately like probably because I've been eating more like junk food which is a bad thing and hashtag I've been stressed lately so this is why and mm -hmm. see my skin feels good. Okay so usually I would do my brows first but I like to apply primer to let it set so today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is what it looks like, you know, everyone knows about it. I heard it's a dupe, apparently it's a dupe compared to the Tatcha um, primer that everyone talks about. But I'm, t I mean, I can't say anything. I literally bought a Tatcha moisturizer. But just like, when it comes to makeup, like, I haven't been wearing it a lot lately to very recently. Because I realized, like, if I don't use it, then... <laughs> My money was well wasted because like because makeup expires if no one knows that <laughs> And I just oh no There's little like leftover mascaras on my eyes, but I already tried to clean that up. So yeah, I usually use the um, Fenty Beauty Soft matte primer, but the problem is I don't know why I just felt like it hasn't been doing a good job with my pores I don't know personally yet so I had to see again because like I don't really notice again until like again very recently I just know like last week. I was like, oh shit my face makeup looks very cakey. Is it probably how I apply it? So yeah So after this I'll do my brow. So the brow product I'm using today or I always use is the NYX um, Micro brow pencil this one right here. Oh my god <laughs> This one right here and I'm in the shade Expresso, um, I think this might be a little too dark or a little like one shade lighter, I probably should get it like one shade darker, but we'll see how this works out. Um, I'm trying to look for more brow pencils that are in the cheaper side because I'm not a person who likes to spend a lot of money on, for example, a $20 brow product. I shouldn't be saying anything because I do buy expensive stuff, but it's just like when it comes to stuff like runs out very easily, I'm just like, eh, let's just do something on the cheaper side because they could be better quality. So yeah, I'm gonna do my brows. Actually, I need a mirror for this. Okay, so brows are done. This is what they look like. I usually will add in a brow gel. Hold on. It's a little bit unblended in. Okay. Is it? Okay, I'm going to use a brow gel next. I usually use the Brow Essence or Essence uh, Make Me Brow. This is the dupe of the Gimme Brow, I believe. I'm If I'm correct. Ooh, so it's tight. Okay, hold on. I, or that, I'll use the ColourPop um, Brow Boss. But I usually use this. I've been using this since middle school and yeah um uh, that's how much i really like it and this is like how many balls i've been through this like so much so like yeah i'm just gonna brush them out these give me like with that brow gel like it not only sets it it makes me feel like i have real brow hairs because in reality i don't really have any brows without this like i need brow like i wish i got money and got the micro braid bladed but i'm kind of too scared to do that so you know so yeah, okay, so next after this, I'll do my face makeup. So I 
don't really do foundation but when i do i do use the rare beauty foundation by Sel like selena gomez in the shade 210 but in this case in a real reality of makeup i only wear concealer so yeah so today i'm gonna be using again guess what the rare beauty concealer i used to use the fenty beauty but with selena gomez coming this out i've been testing this recently and i really like it i'm not gonna say both of them are one is better than the other i think i like them equally but i had to throw away my other one because it got old and it just smelled really bad like i kept it long too long like over a year so yeah so i'm gonna be using this and this is in the same shade 210 and i like to apply this lightly because like i realize how much i apply like i apply like a chunk and it's cakey and i don't like it and i have pores like really bad pores like you can't really tell but i really have bad pores in person so that's why i'm just gonna apply it a little bit lightly and also, I have not been getting any sleep at all. So next is into baking. I like to let the concealer like dry a little bit before I bake. So I'm going to put this on the side. But the powder I'll be using is the Fenty Beauty Powder. This is in the shade Banana. I wish I got the shade Translucent because I realized how more yellow and less natural it looks on my face. Like my face is very neutral, like if you can't tell. And I don't personally like the banana color. It kind of, I think it brings out the cakiness of it. Or like color wise. So I'm going to go plan to buy a new one in the translucent or probably a different powder but i do like the consistency and how like matte it makes so or how it sets so yeah so at this point i'll for eye makeup i only do mascara and eyeliner so what i usually do is do mascara first because every time i curl my lashes it just ends up like smudging away the eyeliner and i know a lot of you are like oh my god you know you could just do this and that but still like it this works for me so i'll just do that so i'm gonna curl my lashes the eyelash curler i'm using like always is such a shade of eyelash curler because it's meant for asian lashes so it curls my lashes really well so what so the mascara i'll be using i just curl in there's no difference at all is the maybelline rocket volume express i usually use any maybelline or drugstore waterproof mascara because i'm cheap well, not really cheap. I like to buy stuff. But when it comes to this, I usually be cheap. So we're going to apply a lot of coats of this. So the eyeliner I'm going to be using is the NYX Eye Ink Epic Ink Liner in the shade Brown. I like brown eyeliners because they just look better on me. I don't know why. I don't like black eyeliners. I mean... Honestly, I kind of want to go back to black, using a black eyeliner because I got this eyeliner from Sephora and it looked pretty nice. It's just a pencil one. It's not like a a liquid liner. So I don't know. I kind of liked it on me, but it was a very faded black. So that's why I kind of liked it. But yeah. Okay. This is going to be a complicated spot. So I'm going to put you guys up here how I do my eyeliner. So this is very awkward how I do my eyeliner because I... I'm not like other people. So we'll see how I do. Okay. Put stick your butt out if you can see here. <laughs> oh, I want, and then so next, I like to apply some blush. So the blush I'll be using today is the Patrick Tall blush, and she's passionate. I usually use a liquid blush. Recently, it's in the shade Joy from Rare Beauty, but I'm not in the mood for using a liquid blush because my skin's been a little bit weird, and I just realized I did not set my foundation my concealer so we're gonna be doing it so making a powder brush this is just a random brush that i have from an ipsy box from moda and and i usually bake but i'm kind of too okay Next, we're going to be using contour slash bronzer. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty in the shade Private Island. And I'm going to just apply that to my contour, you know. Okay, so that's it for that makeup. I know it's so bad in person. But this is my everyday makeup. I mean... It doesn't look like I have any on anyway, but you know, ah shit, <laughs> we gotta take this out. Okay, so, okay, so that's it for today's makeup tutorial, like, wait, 
so that's all to my makeup honestly like this is what it looks like and like this is what i do catfish y'all you know what i mean so i'm just looking up but yeah this is my makeup basically so 